So first thing here, let's start, is you're going to be in fusion, right? So if you have fusion, and I drew this, uh, you know, Christmas tree in like 10 seconds here, so don't judge. There's zero judgment around here. Basically, you have this judge in a sketch, okay? Now, if I try and make a drawing file, and I said this before, I want to make sure that this is clear, you can, sure, I'll just save it as untitled. Um, it won't even let you select anything, right? And this is why I told you guys to make sure that you extrude each one of your parts and don't just make them bodies, make each part a new component, right? Um, it'll help you later when you guys are actually assembling these things and just to understand that each part can now be moved around and, and show up in a drawing file. So I got this really bad, horrible, no good Christmas tree. So it automatically selects the only piece that I have, okay? Um, and what you need to do important here is, is you need to go 22 by 17. This is roughly the size of the laser engraver, okay? So if you make it bigger, what it'll do is it'll auto scale it later and you don't want it to do that. Um, so we need to make sure that you guys do that C size sheet, okay? Leave it an ASME, that's fine. And I know I told you guys and we told you guys to make all your drawing files with dimensions. You're gonna still do that, but you're gonna wanna make sure that you take a screenshot without or with, uh, with the dimensions and submit those into your portfolio. And when you do the, um, when you do the, what do you want to call this, the laser files, you're going to want to make sure that everything other than the things that you want cut out are gone. Okay? So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to delete everything else but the parts. Now, there's a lot of things in here that you need to understand. If you go back, and I'm going to, I'm going to show you in this, in this sketch here, because this is, I see this a lot uh, walking around, and it scares the heck out of me. Um, take these off. You have to realize that if you go down here and you draw like a line right here, okay, for example, um, and I press OK, every line that you draw will be identified as a cut line. So if I try and cut this out in the laser engraver right now, it's going to cut all these lines and cut across, and this whole trunk part is going to be a separate part completely. Okay? I see a lot of people making like circles and doing that kind of stuff, and then they have like lines going across those okay that is no longer going to be cut as a circle it's going to be cut it's going to be cut and then this piece is going to be one separate piece it's going to fall out inside of the laser engraver you need to make sure that only the things that want to be cut you can see the pro portfolio or the profiles that come up like that that's what's going to come out when it's cut okay every line is a cut that's important to know so i'll undo all that don't want that line there anyways. Good. So I go back to the drawing file. So once I'm here, I've already got the sheet size. This is pretty self-explanatory. No dimensions, purely blank. Okay. Once you're done with this, this is pretty easy. You just do like you guys normally do. You output PDF. Okay. Save your pieces. You're all good. Um, make sure you save it somewhere you know it's going to be. Call this one. Oh, I can't say that. I'll say holiday tree. I can't say Christmas, sorry. Oops. So I saved that, right? And um, on mine, I view, I took all my desktops away. So you have a holiday tree right here, right? Now, um, all I have to do is go into Illustrator. So yours is gonna be 2020, mine's still 2019, doesn't really matter. Um, when you open it up, basically, you have to set up a template first, okay? So inside of Illustrator, you'll have this template, and if you forget how to do this, it'll be on the video. I'm not going to go into the extreme details of how to customize things and make things crazy in here. Um, but what you're going to do is you're going to find, and on 2020 it'll be a little different, you'll find this Create New over here, okay? After you press Create New, this 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 will pop up. Now, I already have one here, and I'm going to kind of ignore that one because I want you to create a whole new one. Um, if you go to Art and Illustration, which is right over here on this top tab, and then you come over here, these are your settings. These are your preset settings on what you want to mess with. First thing you want to start with is you want um, inches, okay? The overall width of the laser is 22, sorry, 24 by 18, okay? That's the overall length by the height of the laser itself in inches. Leave this to landscape because that's the way that the laser looks. Ignore all this stuff. And then you're going to click, and it might not be clicked. Make sure you click advanced options, and you need to mess with this stuff. First thing you need to do is make sure that this is dropped down to RGB, red, green, blue, rather than the CMYK. The laser identifies basically three different colors, red, 
black and blue. Um, I'm not going to go over crazy, but red means cut, black and blue basically mean to engrave. So if you look at, um, uh, I have some examples up here. So like, you know when you engrave into something and it just, it doesn't cut all the way through, but it shows almost like a, like a cut, you know, just the first couple layers off, it burnt into a piece, that's engraving, okay? Whereas cutting is pretty self-explanatory. Um, raster, you want to drop this down and you want to go to 300 PPI. Basically that just makes make sure that they're, every little pixel is extremely minimal. Um, so when your cuts are made, that it makes it look pretty. Ignore all this stuff and press create. Once you're done with that, um, it should come up with a blank document. You're gonna kind of ignore this blank document at first. You're gonna go to file, you're gonna go to open, and you're gonna find that one PDF that you already saved from Fusion. You press open, it'll open your Christmas tree. Okay, it'll open, sorry, holiday tree. It'll open whatever you have, and then you're gonna have a whole bunch of settings over here, okay? Uh, what do I not wanna go over here? We'll, we'll stay on this one. If you go to the solid, the infilled, it's called, infilled white, this is direct select. You select this, and you select the pieces you can see once I zoom in, and it's not like Fusion. Um, to zoom in, you hold in the alt, and to zoom out, you hold the alt, and you use the scroll wheel like you do in Fusion. Hold control, scroll, and that's left and right. Don't hold anything that's up and down for scroll. It's a little weird. Um, pan is just ignore pan. There is no pan. It's just every man for himself. Um, so you do basically your direct, right? After you select that, you'll see over here in appearance, a couple other things pop up. We don't ever want an infill, okay? That basically fills in color into the object and we don't want that. What we do want is a stroke color and a stroke thickness. So we're gonna select stroke and you're gonna see over here um, that nothing pops up, okay? This is why we make you guys select RGB, okay? We can't do anything in this because it's not set up to what we want it to be selected. So we're gonna go over and we're gonna highlight it all. And I'm literally gonna say Control C and I'm gonna bring it into here, Control V, okay? To the file that we created. Now, when I go to direct select and select that path and go to this, you'll see a whole bunch of colors pop up because now it's an RGB mode, okay? Everything we want cut, we go and we can scroll over. It says RGB red. It's literally the only red that's RGB. You click that, you click the line stroke to B 0 0.001, and that is what the laser identifies as a cutting thickness, okay? After you press enter, it may look like your thing almost disappears. And on my screen, it, can you guys barely see that? I don't know if you can or not. To get a better view, you can go to view and uh, preview on CPU. And then when I zoom in, you can see that the lines are there. It's very thin, okay? Um, it's kind of very hard to see every once in a while, but that's basically all you want to do, okay? Um, if you want text, and I'm not going to tell this to Mrs. M, so you guys are lucky. Uh, if you want text, or if you want lines, or if you want stuff like that, okay, you can do that all down here. So let's say, um, I'll go back to this piece. Let's say I draw a new sketch onto here, and I want like, uh, and this might be over your guys' head, and if it is, just ignore me, but I think it's kind of cool. Um, let's say I want, and this is, again, no judgment. It's a judgment-free zone. Uh, I'll offset that line. Okay, draw another line. It is, good, okay. So now I can extrude a little bit. So you see how there's sketches on this line, but there's nothing coming out. Now I can extrude that piece. If you want multiple lines to show up, you have to extrude them at different thicknesses. Meaning, if I if I didn't extrude this right now and I just left those lines there and did a drawing file, it would look like this though. You have to have edges to show up inside of your drawing file. So let's say I want this garland here, whatever the heck this is. I go up a little bit. Um, I can create join, it's okay. And then when I go and make a drawing file, this one, remember you always gotta start over kinda. Drawing file of this one, again, 22 by 17, leave everything else. If I open this one, you'll see that the lines show up now. Okay, so they're not going to show up if you don't make sure that you have an edge there to show it. So I press OK, and this is what I want to show you in the Illustrator. I'm going to output, you guys will get good at this way better than I will. Um, oh, I forgot to delete the border, delete the title block. 
PDF, press OK. Um, I'm going to say Holiday Tree 2. Save. And then I'm going to go back in Illustrator. I'm just going to open that one I already did. Holiday Tree 2, press open. And it comes up like this. Control C, go back into my cool folder. Control V. And if you want to move things, watch when I try and move things. It'll, oh, that's nice, good, lucky. Okay, so I come out, move this piece over, and now you can see that the piece is through there. Now this is another thing that you really have to understand. If you want this not to be cut out, but you want it to be engraved onto your pieces, that looks 10 times cooler where you can have like stuff like etched into your parts. You basically select the same way we did it before, select the whole thing, you can make it red at first, and this is a little bit more of a crazy piece here. Um, and then you make it again, 0 .001, press OK. And in here, now you can do a couple things. You can delete only certain things. Oops. You can delete only certain things if you go back to this little piece. And you see how it separates them? Oops. Sorry. You can... Uh, I don't want to do that. I thought it was just that. Why is it doing that? Is it the white one? Yeah, it's just the white one. So let's keep the white one. If you want this part engraved, right, then I can select just those lines specifically, and you're going to have to break them up. But what you're going to do is you're going to select those lines and make these black. You can leave this um, whatever thickness you want. The black doesn't matter. The red does. So let's say I want it to be thick and make it look really like I can see it a lot. I press Enter. I press, you know, Escape or whatever to get out of this thing. Let it load. There we go. And it shows that black line using that one thickness, right? Now, when I cut this, it'll cut all this. Let's say I forgot this line. It'll cut this piece all out, and then it'll engrave that black piece. Okay? So that's all you got to understand is black and red, and then all those thicknesses. Questions, concerns? I know that's a lot, but it'll be on the video, and you guys can kind of walk through. Good? Okay. Once we're done with all that, what do you do with all this stuff? Go to File, Save As. Make sure you save it as a PDF. It will not work unless you save it as a PDF. Okay? Save this one, uh, I don't know, Illustrator version. I can spell. Press save. And then if you guys look at, you press save PDF. Then if you look at Google Classroom, I just put in projects. I put 2D, 3D file submission. Put your PDF file inside of there and you guys are good. Once it's in there, Okay, listen, once it's in there, I'm going to cut it. I have 200 of these things to go. Don't put it in until, until you guys are absolutely ready. Okay? You get two chances. If one's screwed up, you get the second chance, and that's your real go. Good? Okay, have fun.